one ape share for every AMC share they own. It's funny that AMC is, keeps breaking precedence because this is the first time that you guys were just creating value out of nothing. In fact, people who say that AMC have lost value after the ape dividend actually do not understand it. So here is the truth of why we are going to talk about Ape, why it actually is beneficial for the next part of the squeeze, and why that like button needs to be thoroughly destroyed by you right now watching the video. I'll take a, I'll take a second right now, look at Professor Meatball in the back, and comment out which like you guys are all the way up to 1300. First of all, a lot of the media right now is trying to tell you exactly what Ape means. Why exactly is it uh, a brand new stock and why are both AMC and Ape down? But something that you'll notice immediately is that AMC Entertainment Preferred Equity Units, Apes, are uh, trading around six bucks right now at end of trading day. You have to realize that that is what value AMC lost. It's a trade-off. And that is something about creating value from nothing, equivalent exchange. Let's take a listen to what the mainstream media is trying to say and try to explain the plunge of AMC as a bearish move on the market. And then I will tell you guys exactly why it's pretty bullish, especially for the signals that I'm seeing. Take a look. When one announced, it would just cause a cascading effect. So when you have a cinema world declaring bankruptcy, you have to worry about, well, does it mean shuttered uh, movie theaters? Does it mean discounted prices? How does AMC get swept into this? Now, they have raised a lot of liquidity, whereas perhaps you know AMC becomes an even more of a consolidator in the space. But again, you don't want to see the second largest movie chain uh, in the world come out here and declare bankruptcy. It will have some form of fundamental blowback on AMC, even if the apes don't think about it this morning. Well, the critical thing is where they're actually getting the turnout for people in terms of that foot traffic coming back in for some of the blockbuster films, whether it's Top Gun, whether it's Batman. Over the course of this year, I mean, and the context here, of course, being that a third of their revenue, roughly, for Cineworld, it comes in from concession sales. So if you have a consumer that is already realizing we're paying more where there is some of the price fluctuation in the number of, or in the type of film that we're going to see because of those blockbusters that have been testing more of those pricing levers if you're already seeing a higher ticket price how much less perhaps are you spending on some of the concessions even when you are in that experience you've had everything from jurassic world dominion or just dinosaurs number 15 at this point <laughs> that you've been able to go into the movie theater and see or if you're a fan like me of minions you've been able to take advantage of some of those and those have been performing strongly it's a larger question of for cine world where do those margins start to come in and the concessions typically are where that is at and that's why i make that point about where their revenue is actually coming in from at this point in time. did you see rise of Gru? i didn't see rise of Gru, but i want to yeah i want to see that too yeah. um yeah. now we just showed a board of the other meme stocks this morning which i think we have to talk about as well because we've had this resurgence as we've had risk on resurgence in the entire market right where we've seen stocks overall bounce these guys have have definitely participated but in particular the last couple of weeks that all seems to be melting away at least for now the past Let's just talk about those two, those different stocks on the board right now. GameStop down about 6%, 7% after hours, 15% for Bed Bath & Beyond, right? Nokia about 1.5%, BlackBerry about 2.5%. Nobody is staying green, staying positive. But one of the things you'll have to notice is that AMC down 6.5%. Well, sorry, $6, which is about 36% in this graphic here. That is the value of Ape now. So if there was a one-to-one -one stock split, you would have seen AMC's value cut in half immediately. And we actually got the better of that. We didn't get 50% off. We got 30, 40% off on one day. And that means that we already have that 10% boost just by mathematics alone. Based on not doing a stock split, we actually created more value out of thin air. And that is just only one of the benefits that Ape was able to create. And that is one of the reasons why it is so hard for the entire mainstream media to tell the entire truth. Let's take a listen to why, uh, why a couple of other analysts are thinking that Ape has taken AMC down. As we, both of which, though, are trading in the red today. AMC shares plunging down 38% for several reasons. The first one is the ape issuance dragging on AMC, as would be the case in a stock split. Then you've also got concerns about Cineworld possibly going bankrupt, even though retailers disagree, retail traders disagree with that uh, statement. And then overall meme stock sell-off that you're seeing across the board. This after Ryan Cohen sold his shares of Bed Bath & Beyond, questioning confidence in said companies. And lastly, the general sell-off in tech prompted by 
high rate concerns. At this point, though, this is the important part, AMC shareholders are worse off based on the combined value of both AMC and Apes shares. And you can look at the prices that you're seeing on your screen. So that's that is actually the most important thing. And a day where a lot of meme stocks got sold off, AMC is only comparatively not as good as Friday. <laughs> $18 is AMC's close, which means we are at $17.40, which is a 60 cent difference, basically a margin of error. In a statistical sense, it is meaningless, which means AMC got a humongous benefit because at the end of the day, after a stock split happens, after the mathematical 50% haircut happens on the value of your stocks, and then you get double the amount of stocks, then the stock price actually starts to fall. And that is the main difference between what the truth of the matter is and what is the expected truth of the matter. So that's $11 and about $6.40 added together. That's seventeen forty, which is lower than Friday's close of eighteen oh two. <laughs> Lastly, AMC CEO Adam Aaron is pretty adamant that shares will not be diluted, but the company still holds the right to issue over 480 million new Ape shares when they see fit. Oh, all right, Christina, thank you. Um, Beth, d does this mean that it didn't work? Uh, and when you combine what's happening with AMC today with what we saw happen with Ryan Cohen and Bed Bath & Beyond, what does this mean for retail investors in the meme trade? I would say it means that it sounds very complicated. <laughs> uh, we don't think now is the time to take big risks or look at complicated stocks. The market dynamics have changed. Probably most importantly, uh, such high quality has been on sale. We have 30%, 50% discounts and heavyweights with beautiful bottom lines. This is your fangs. You have AI semiconductor stocks that are 40, 50% off their highs. So for us, we really encourage investors to look at quality. It's very, very rare to get quality on sale. So forget the meme stocks. The market dynamics have changed drastically since this time last year. And we just ultimately feel they're very unpredictable. And yet the meme trade is back and the uh, crypto trade had bounced back somewhat, though it's struggled over the last few days. Um, Remember, this is not dilution. We didn't create any new shares of AMC. We created APE, which means that people who received both shares and then had the stock suffer because of it on a day that every stock comparable to it suffered much worse, it is a win. And in my opinion, it is a win that will continue giving. That's something that I'll be able to test on Lux Algo. This is the sell signal that Lux got on the Ape stock. This is looking at AMC Entertainment uh, preferred equity units. You can also take a look at when the sell signal happened on AMC. This is on the free tool uh, trading view, and you guys have 20% off with the code Andrew Mo Money. It's Lux Algo in the description down below. It works because it's pretty darn good at collecting the signals that we want to look for. If you guys want to be able to follow me, well, it's easy. It's Andrew Mo Money on Twitter and Instagram. Watch out for scammers, people who have small variations of my name, and then just take all my photos and put it on their Instagram. Very naughty. I'm watching you guys. Don't be naughty. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I'll see all of you in the money. Peace.